Okay, when you applied everything I told you in the former lectures, so about adding those eighth notes, sixteenth notes, uh, starting on an upbeat, and adding this, uh, these empty spaces, well, I think you can make already quite interesting solos. Now, perhaps that when you were practicing, you suddenly came up with some nice, catchy, short line. Uh, and you like to use that line more often in your solos. Uh, and if you go to play in other keys than C, you might even want to transpose this little catchy short line. Now, these catchy little short lines, you would typically call it a lick. And it's good to create a sort of library for yourself of licks. And you can use them when improvising, when soloing, you can say, hey, I will use this lick here and that other lick there. Now, so be sure when you have some licks that you can use them in several keys uh, so that you can transpose them, not only in the key of C. Well, for now, of course, let's limit ourselves to the key of C because it's difficult enough already to play just in the key of C. But later, when you're going to play in other keys, just transpose your licks. Okay, to get you started, let me just show you some licks. But you can, of course, come up with your own ones. So, um, I showed you already this sliding from the F sharp to the G. Well, you could do more loads together. You could play the F sharp with the B flat. I should actually say G flat eh, because it's the flattened five. But okay, doesn't matter. And then slide this finger from the F sharp to the G. So you could make a lick like, for example, as follows. That could be a lick. So again, the first lick, what did I do? I did, I, sorry, I slide it with my um, index finger from the F sharp or the G flat to the G. And at the same time, in the same time, I played the B flat. For example, so another lick, a bit of the same, but you could use, so again, this sliding from this F sharp or G flat to the G, and then on the C here. That could be a lick. So what did I do? So this, I play only the C. That could be a lick. A very simple but very uh, efficient lick is this one. Just could be nice, even a bit higher, or even here. Right, you can play it on every octave you want. So come up with some licks. Try some things. Um, you can use my licks. To start with, there are so many licks uh, you can come up with. Uh, you can have longer licks, you can have shorter licks. Try it out yourself. Let me play uh, with the band and let me introduce just some licks to, get, to give you some ideas. <laughs> Be a lick also. of possibilities just try and you will come up with some things so so you see the use of more than one note uh, still now we did only one note 
you can come two notes everything what you like you find it out you will come up with ideas okay see you in the next lecture